Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel and this amazing series, I'm Aditya. In this video, we will see how we can create our own composable and have it used in our Nux3 application. So without any further ado, let's begin. Okay, so let's create a folder first. Again, <laughs> naming matters. So in this case, we need to make it a folder with name composables like this. And inside this composable, oh sorry, uh, I said naming matters, but I misspelled it. Sorry for that. Composables. Yeah. And here we can create our own composables. So what are these composables? Well, composables are nothing but special functions in context of view, which allows you to reuse or have that reusable feature for view stateful uh, variables. Now, this might be a complicated definition. So let's say you have certain view variables, let's say ref or reactive variables that you want to reuse and you want to have a logic of, let's say, uh, certain functionalities you want to reuse and you don't want to have to write it again and again. So you can create your own composable. For instance, you might have come across for uh, Pinea, there, there is a use store or uh, certain in this case, like uh, Previously, we saw another one inside, I guess, index.view, which was views router. So those were just composable, like use head is another composable. So let's create our own custom composable. So here I'm going to call it, let's say, uh, use to do. So let's call this something like this, use to do.js. And this composable will just provide a basic functionality for creating a to-do list and deleting a to-do and so on. So for that, let's export a function. So we could say export for default function use to do and here we could have something like this let's say a uh, const to do list equal to ref now here we don't need to import it anything because that's going to be all auto imported so ref that comes from u3 originally and then we have certain function let's say function add to do here, whatever we pass in as a value to this, let's say it's going to be a payload that simply we added in our to-do list. So to-do list dot value will be, uh, we will use the spread operator to-do list dot value and payload. Let's just keep it. Uh, very simple for adding a to-do list and getting a to-do list and here we can just sorry not getting we're just adding a to-do list and here we just need to return these two things to-do list and add to-do so let's return that to-do list and add to-do function perfect now let's try to use this composable now we can use this composable anywhere inside either a full page component or in this pages component or inside our dashboard component oh sorry not dashboard components but actual components so let's create a component here to do dot view and let's have a very basic structure with this now here we could say const and we can import those things like to do list and add to do that will come from use to do now here we don't have to import it as you could see like it actually just like it's literally auto imported we just need to have it default export and also just need to have the file with that name use to do dot js now all we need to do here is simply once we have that composable we can just let's just uh, render a to do here or uh, let's just do something like this let's just have a button and at the rate click add to do and this will call the function let's say we will create our own custom function this will call our function so let's just have that function here function add to list i'm purposely taking it as a function so that uh, i could see or console the value over here uh, let me just give just give me a moment sorry for that and then we can have that add to do function so we could say add to do and here we can pass the payload let's say id of one text is first to do and now let's just render this to do list over here so here we will say console.log added and to do list.value now let's bring this component inside our uh, home page over here here we could say to do component and now let's give it a try all right 
perfect so let's go back over here we have the button let's open the console side by side so that we can see here now uh, okay let's re do something like this and there we go we have something added over here we have array and there we go we have our to do that's perfect so this is how you can create your own composables like this and you can use them inside your components or anywhere and the good thing is you never have to import it because they are all auto imported all we need to make sure that they are inside composables folder your composable has the file like the file name it's the file name of your composable in this case my file name is used to do so it, the file name is used to do and the function is a export default function used to do and that's it everything is perfect then so that's all in this video in next video we will see the concept of data fetching and how we can fetch data from external APIs and how Nux3 provides powerful features to have data fetching and also have server-side rendering you with the data that we get. So see you in the next video. Till the next time. Goodbye.